An astute observation, Ken. Still, this is unusual since tradition dictates that the big men handle the opening tip. Now, remember, Steve, this is rock and jock basketball. And you know what that means? Tradition don't mean a thing. And speaking of tradition, there's a lack of sportsmanship at midcourt. There's a lot of drawing going on out there. Can you believe this, Ken? The game hasn't even started, and they're going at it. Chris Mullen and Sean Kemp embroiled in a pushing and shoving match, and now they're wrestling. Reggie Miller's involved. There's Marky Mark, Joey Lawrence, Queen Latifah, Dawn Lewis, and Dawn Lewis goes flying to the floor, and now John Sally has Sean Kemp in a headlock. Boy, it's going to be interesting to see how Hugh Hollins handles this. So Olympic gold medalist Chris Mullen, the first to incur the wrath of Robin Ficker. Mullen must be thinking, this is what I get for bringing home the gold? Now he knows how Angola felt against the Dream Team. And while Chris Mullen goes off to meet his fate, let's get this game started. Here come the Bricklayers, the defending champs on the attack. That misfire was taken by Sean Kemp of the Seattle Supersonics. Reggie Miller with the alley-oop attempt to Kemp, who was looking for the monster jam, and they just failed to click. The multi-talented Don Lewis. Here's a steal by Marky Mark. A two-on-one with Biv, and it's spotted away by Sean Kemp. No mercy. Here's Marky Mark, who backs up, looking for 10, being guarded by Queen Latifah. I never thought I'd be saying <laughs> Marky Mark, in the true spirit of Robert Parrish and Benoit Benjamin, double zero. Sean Kemp behind the back with a reverse jam. He's stealing the show. It's on Joey Lawrence of Blossom, the comely hunk. Look out now, Ken. Here he comes behind the back. Sean Kemp. Oh, my Lord. What do you call that? He passed it to himself. Can you get an assist on your own basket, Steve? You can now. Who's going to tell him otherwise? Not me. Here's Kemp again. He bounced it off Mullen. Almost got it back. He's doing it all. Marky Mark from 10. That's a 10-pointer for the Markster. The kid who said no to new kids on the block. Well, here we go. We're ready to set the... Stage for the second half here at Pauley Pavilion. Steve Albert, Ken Ober. And very quickly, Bricklayers 74, Violators now 66. Jeff Ahmed of Pearl Jam. You know, I tried that on toast one day. It was great. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to use it on your teeth if you're a uh, smoker. Yeah. <laughs> Nate Morris overshoots, very disgusted with himself, but Sean there. Kemp is there to pick up the piece. Kemp playing the role of vacuum cleaner. Anything near the basket, Kemp is sucking up and spitting out. The, ooh, that sounds disgusting. 82-80, <laughs> the Violators, after losing last year, looking to bounce back to beat the Bricklayers. Now, although the, the crowd may seem a little sedate, that's because we're in California, but this is a very exciting game. Yes. Look at the score, Steve. Period. Here's Reggie Miller looking for that elusive 10-pointer. It's put back in by Sean Kemp, who has been everywhere. A 21-point fourth-quarter lead normally signifies a blowout, but the b-ball jam is anything but a normal game. And with the 10-point shot, anything is possible. The Seattle connection of Jeff Ament and Sean Kemp clicked for a total of 44 violator points and 17 rebounds, including several Kemp monster dunks. And Reggie Miller turned in another MVP performance as he connected on five bombs from 10-point range for a total of 50 points, in addition to his eight rebounds.